විෂන් කියා විශ්වාසනීය දැක්ම බලන හැම තැනකම දැන් විෂන් කියා එකක් The Criminal Investigation Department submitted facts to the Fort Magistrates Court yesterday pertaining to its investigations on the Easter Sunday attacks. The court granted permission for arrested lawyer Hijaz Hizbullah to be produced for an identification parade before 10 students of a madrasa conducted in the area of Putlam which Hizbullah aided and abetted. The permission was granted in line with a request made by investigators on the 18th of June. Although the identification parade was set to be worked off later yesterday, Deputy Solicitor General Dilip Apiris informed the court via a motion that an organized group has called on the witnesses at their residences and had influenced them disrupting the identification parade process. Hence the Deputy Solicitor General requested from court that all 10 witnesses be summoned individually and determine whether they have been subjected to any external influence. Meanwhile legal counsel Nuan Bopage representing the 10 madrasa students objected to them being made part of an identification parade saying that the CID had shown a picture of his bulla to them while recording statements from them as such he argued that it is pointless to have the witnesses in an identification parade legal counsel representing lawyer Hizbulla Nawaratna Bandara then told the court that although investigators say that his client needs to be produced for an identification parade the Derana media outlet recently aired a report containing Hizbulla's photograph during the newscast Deputy Solicitor General Dilip Apiris then told the court that certain factions who appeared on behalf of Hizbulla had attempted to depict him as a political victim on social media before the Derana media outlet telecast a photograph of Hizbulla As such he said that it is baseless to blame media institutions. Hizbullah's legal counsel then said that although his client was arrested under the allegation of aiding the Dehwala bomber, the CID is now accusing him of a school which is said to have been operated by him and that it shows the uncertainty of the investigators on the probe. In response, Deputy Solicitor General Dilip Apiris said that it is a misconception to think that Hizbullah is arrested for operating a school. He added that Hizbullah is detained pertaining to an investigation on intelligence terror which goes beyond it and that within the said investigation Hizbullah is above Zaran Hashim the deputy solicitor general went on to say that although Hizbullah's faction says that he does not have direct links to these to Sunday attacks distorting children's minds by arousing hatred towards the society while driving them towards an extremism against the country is also a considerable part in terrorism he added that an attorney at law takes an oath to protect the territorial integrity and the constitution of the country and that it is sad to see such a person attempting to foster extremism against the country Deputy Solicitor General Dilip Apiris further noted that the madrasa in question had made no other educational contributions except for pushing children towards extremist ideologies and this is made evident by the fact that Zaran and other murderers teaching and conducting lectures there he told the court that it is evident that children at the madrasa in question had been given theoretical and practical knowledge with the aim of driving them towards extremism since the students had given testimony to the CID saying they were made to crawl under chairs given exercises in muddy grounds shown how to use firearms and how to dismantle them the deputy solicitor general went on to say that investigations have confirmed that hisbullah had been the theorist of the terror cell which featured zahran hashim and that hisbullah's role was similar to what was undertaken by anton balasingham for the ltte while highlighting the fact that a separate lawyer is representing the 10 madrasa students who are witnesses of the complainant in court the deputy solicitor general cast doubt saying whether it is an indication of the influence exerted by a certain faction on the students after considering the objections made by the legal counsels of the 10 madrasa students and hijaz hisbullah as well as the submission made by the cid fort magistrate ranga disanayaka cancelled the identification parade which was set to be worked off yesterday leave ayush karabuneti danta lepaya shaktimat dadde palakata